What's good my people, how you doing today? Look, today I'm gonna show you a different side of Dar es Salaam that you don't see. Now, yeah, 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 we already know the narrative that people paint of Africa, that all the roads look like this. But on today's show, I'm gonna show you a different side of the city that you don't see on TV. We're changing the narrative, baby. Peace out. <laughs> What's good fam? Now we're going to be checking out an upscale area here in Dar es Salaam. I'm going to show you a different side to Dar es Salaam that you don't normally see. And in my opinion, this is something that should be hyped about. We appreciate developments that we're constantly seeing here in Tanzania. So for those who haven't been here yet, for those who are coming, you get to see a section of Dar es Salaam that is definitely worth your time when you come to Tanzania. But before I go forward, yeah, I'm a, I've been thinking like I heard a lot of people saying that when they come to Tanzania, one of the struggles they have to deal with is the language barrier. And of course, you know, here in Tanzania, people love Kiswahili. It's the national language and they embrace the language of Kiswahili. It's spoken throughout the country. So I'm gonna make it my best effort to at least put in some words, some Kiswahili phrases that you could learn before you come to Tanzania. And if you're already here, you could start using these words and put it into practice. So today I got three words for you, yeah? The first one is utamaduni. Utamaduni means culture in Kiswahili. Utamaduni. The second word is kupenda. Now kupenda could mean to love or to like. And the next word is ya, and that could be used for off. O-F, off, yeah? So check this out now. Let's string a phrase in with these words right now. Ninapenda utamaduni ya Tanzania. Ninapenda utamaduni ya Tanzania. Let me hear you say it, man. Pause the video and try say that sentence again. Utamaduni utam, ninapenda utamaduni ya Tanzania. And that means I love the culture of Tanzania. So that's your phrase for today, guys. I hope you try to put into practice try use that sentence and yeah man we're gonna have a next one in the next video all right boom let's check out this city right now so guys you know what yesterday i posted a video where i was in the university of dar es salaam and i was talking about you know my experience being here i'm still holding it down here in tanzania it's normal and i was just saying some of the things you gotta learn when you're here is patience and of course, you who are coming, you're going to see why I say that and I talk about that in that video. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out, link in the bio. And I also have a playlist on this channel where you can check out all my videos on Tanzania just in case you're new around here. Now, another thing I want to say, right, we should embrace the developments that's happening throughout the continent of Africa. Now. We can say development, we can say upliftment. Whatever changes that is happening for the better of the people, let's embrace that. Because for the most part, you know the narrative we see on the TV when it comes to Africa. We have charities putting up certain videos on there. You're seeing kids with pot bellies. There's flipping issues with water and stuff like that. This is the kind of narrative we're constantly seeing, especially in the West. Now I'm telling you now, especially in London, like when you turn on the TV, right, and you see Africa, if you're not on maybe the Explore channel, you might just see safaris and that, or you might just see some charities trying to promote something to get money to help people in Africa. That's generally the narrative that you see on the TV there over in London, man. And we need to start embracing the development and upliftment we have on the continent and we're seeing this on this channel right now so i'm in an upscale area here in dar es salaam not too far from milimani shopping city milimani shopping mall milimani city and there's a lot of changes happening and every time i come here i'm really blown away and i'm impressed with the development so let me show you what i'm seeing right now so you can see if we look straight ahead that's the high rise in buildings now. These are different offices. They even got um, places where you can 
get something to eat there's even a subway down them sides there you get me so yeah guys it's a it's a vibe down here and i'm liking it so far now it's around 10 a.m in the morning temperature is around 27 degrees now around this time here in tanzania it's winter this is the winter period so if you come here in like, let's say from november go right back to, to march man tanzania is re it gets really hot especially in the coastal cities like dar es salaam pwani region tanga really bla blazing hot but it's quite cool right now and i'm liking that so this is the institute of social work on the right right here so yeah there is social work and stuff here in tanzania guys different um government governmental organizations and stuff can be found here now this is the motorway right this is the motorway right here really um developed motorway in my opinion they've really been putting a lot of effort in creating more paved roads throughout the country and this is good for people who are of course into business and traveling from different parts of the city different parts of the country that's coming to Dar es Salaam to earn their, their daily bread you know what I mean so it's a good vibe and I'm liking it so far guys so I was saying yesterday I recently put out a course on Udemy right now I'm a travel vlogger I do travel vlogs in different parts of the world I'm not always gonna be in Tanzania but what I do make sure that I do is wherever I go I really learn the place to the best of my ability and I try to give you information which will be useful and value, valuable for you so you can put it into practice once you get on the ground here so my Udemy course is called how to travel around Tanzania on a budget and in there I talk about all the information that you will need before you arrive here in Tanzania from accommodation, safety, visa requirements, long-term and short-term stay, best hotels, different information about various cities within the country of Tanzania, activities that you can do, excursions that you can go on throughout the country for an affordable price. Now this is for my budget travelers so if you're someone who's wanting to come to Tanzania on a budget you want to check out the country you're not too sure if you want to make this your long-term home but you just want to see what the vibe is like then this course will definitely be for you because it will help you save a lot of money in the long run and you'll be able to really experience the country of Tanzania in a memorable way something that you wouldn't have experienced if you don't check out my course so link in the bio link in the comment section to that and be sure to check it out guys if you have any questions my email is also in the bio you can hit me up on email and I'll answer your questions as quickly as I can all right so we're coming up to a section here now this is a campus of the University of Dar es Salaam now yesterday we were in the main campus but this is another one of their campuses right here Okay, so University of Dar es Salaam, for those who don't know, is one of the most popular universities throughout East Africa. And it had a long history um, in the country during, during the time of the first president of this country, Julius Kambarage Narere. So really, a lot of historical history with this place. And so if you ever come to Dar es Salaam, you may want to even learn Swahili and different things like that then you could certainly check out the University of Dar es Salaam so this is just a little view of what it looks like of the campus here one of the campus it's not the main one but it's still really kept nice nicely done got a nice grass area there they put some plants and stuff and over there there is like a private school for younger children primary school so you got all of that here so those who may be traveling to Tanzania and you got younger children you don't always have to do the homeschool thing you know what I mean you can free up yourself get them involved in one of these private schools here let them interact with the children they can learn English they can learn Kiswahili and you know give them a good experience to integrate in the country so that's something you could definitely consider 
So it's their playtime now, so that's them playing football and stuff over there. Real good vibe here in Tanzania. What do I make of this place, man? So far, I'm really liking the fact that people are abiding to the traffic light rules in there. Um, sometimes, because I've been on a border border before. Let me tell you a story, right? I was on this border border and a border border is basically a motorbike taxi. So I paid around 2,000 Tanzanian shillings to get to where I was going. And we're coming up to a red light. And I'm thinking, bruv, is this guy gonna stop? And my man just vroom past the red light. Like he just kept it moving. He was not stopping. It's like he just accelerated more once he saw the red light. And I was like, flipping hell. Like this is dangerous, fam. You know what I mean? I didn't even have a helmet or nothing. I had to say, yo, drive a Subiri Kidogo, you know? Please, man. Like take it easy. Bear some patience with me on this motorbike, bruv. I can't be dealing with no accidents and that here, man. My, you know what I mean? My insurance, my uncover this shit, man. But anyways, yeah, that's one of the things you gotta bear in mind for Tanzania with some of these vehicles. But so far, what I'm seeing here, like you know, people seem to be abiding to these traffic light um, rules here, you know, because those ones over there they've stopped, right? And then they've allowed the other um, vehicles to carry on, so that's good those ones over here they've also stopped and yeah so that's a really a good vibe when people abide to those traffic laws and stuff like that but that's a good thing another thing i'll say um about the place what i'm liking so far is definitely developed man you know so far i haven't seen any rubbish or anything on the ground very much well maintained and when i was walking up I saw a lot of cleaners cleaning down by the roundabout so that's another good thing so in terms of main maintenance of the place they're doing a great job definitely doing a great job right now um, gas prices is high so for diesel it's 3100 per litre as per, or per gallon and then the unleaded is 2,960 per litre or per, gal or per gallon. So that's interesting. So that's probably, I'll, I'll put the um, currency conversion on the screen right now so you can see what they're dealing with in terms of gas prices here. So we're coming up to the high rising buildings in the section here, the Mwanga Tower, you'll see Subway, there's also banks and all of that. So this is the real upscale section of the city here in Dar es Salaam. So if you're a person that values, you know, seeing some kind of a vibe that you're used to from your home country, definitely check this place out. You could come here and just chill out, man. But at the same time, what you're going to get is Subway. I don't know if you want to come all the way from England to America to eat Subway, but you might do. You know what I mean? You might want to just see what their Subway is like. So if you're them type of person there, then Subway is here, you know what I mean? So they're coming up to it right now. Let me show you lot what I'm seeing. Let me, let me give you a lot of exclusive view, man. This is a vibe from here, yeah? So on the right over there, that Subway, and that's the banks and everything like that. Now this place is not too far from Makumbusho. I did a video on that a couple months back.
Scorsese. It's a Millennium Tower. And all these buildings are different offices and banks and all of that. They even got um, offices for rent as well. They're letting offices. So if you want an office as one of these towers here in Dar es Salaam, you could come and check it out, you know? Let me walk on this side because right here is a little car park. So let's go closer. So you see, this is the highway, guys. Boom. Okay, they need to improve on this bit, but I'm sure in time they're going to work on that. Yeah, it's all a process. Okay. So this is Subway. Subway eat fresh, baby. So they got that here. This is the subway. And they got other offices and stuff inside there. So from as far as the eye can see, yeah, from here, go far down, all you're seeing is really big high-rise buildings, man. So you can see the place is developed. There's two sides to Dar es Salaam. I went to a place called Imbagala. And that's like southern, southern Dar es Salaam, yeah? And there you will find what's considered the lower class or working class people, all right? It's, it's the breadbasket of the city, but there, down there is not developed like here. So for someone who comes to Tanzania, you may check out Mbagala and you may think, wow, is that what, is that all what Tanzania is about? And hell no. Like, Tanzania have different say, shades of grey, man. Like, different shades. You know what I mean? And right now, what I'm seeing here, I'm impressed. Like, I could easily, like, this easily feels like, you know what I mean, central London right now. Easily. Of course, it has its own vibe to it. It's not central London. It has its own vibe. But in terms of the development, it's developed, baby. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I see developments every time when I come to the city of Dar es Salaam. Every time. So this is Tigo. That's a mobile company here in Tanzania. They offer some good internet service for the city of Dar es Salaam, Tigo. So if you're looking for a good internet provider and you, you know, you, want, you may want internet in your home, your house, your apartment. Definitely give Tigo a try because um, I've tried other internet in Dar es Salaam at home, but when it comes to the home package and the strength of the internet, Tigo is number one. But if you want to think about affordability and stuff like that, if you're looking for more something on a budget, then Airtel will be better. Airtel offer the best packages in. Um, internet bundles here in Tanzania, Airtel. And I talk about all of that in my course as well, guys. Go check that out. In this place baby I'm loving it man like yo this is some real developments going down here in Dar es Salaam man I'm loving the vibe here like literally you know I, I, every time I come to a place where I haven't been for some time and I see certain de developments I'm like yeah yeah I'm liking it loving it okay so all the ceramics and stuff for the household they sell that here real nice designs
Man, guys, you see, look. Of course, you know, like I have to edit the video and stuff like that, right? But I've been walking this street for over 20 minutes and all I'm seeing is developments, guys, like literally high rising buildings, well paved road, people observing the traffic rules and, and stuff like that. I'm really impressed. I'm blown away with what I'm seeing right here in Dar es Salaam. This section of Dar es Salaam, guys, is definitely on point. 10 out of 10. 10 10 for sure like literally it's a vibe here you know what i mean and don't ever get it twisted so if anyone told you man tanzania is not developed africa ain't developed show them this video man let them see what time it is with this video and let them know that there's developments here in the city 100 percent so i'm gonna end this video real soon trust that you have enjoyed it and if you have any questions if you have any comments drop something in the comment section below let me know what you think about what you just seen let me know about the comments you've just seen comment on what you've seen let me know what you think of this place does it remind you of maybe your state or your city wherever you're watching from let me know what you think of this place. And right here is also not too far from Oyster Bay and the Cocoa Beach side. So literally once you get here, if I take one of those side roads here, that will lead me on to another section of the city where I can find the beach and even clubs like Elements and Samaki Samaki and these places. So yeah, Tanzania for me, a city of contrast. It has the positive, the negative, the developed, the undeveloped, the traditional, the modern, everything can be found in this city. It's amazing, baby. I'm liking the vibes and I trust you've enjoyed today's vlog. I just did a quick morning walk with you so you get a vibe and a feel of the city here in Dar es Salaam. That's right, baby. Trust you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you on another one. Peace out.